Hi guys, it's Bridget. Um, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I created for my guest design team spot for uh, Julie at Craft Supplies One. Um, if you haven't visited Julie recently, she's added a lot of beautiful things to her shop along with her um, uh, beautiful um, flowers and embellishments that she creates, I mean that she uh, carries all the time. So. Um, you should go check out some charms, and um, she's added these really cool masks that I uh, haven't used yet, but um, laces and flowers, and uh, she just has something for everyone, So, um, and she has really great prices, so it's worth checking out if you haven't recently to see what she's brought in. Um, so what I made here is an altered hat. Uh, I got this hat um, at Joann's, uh, I want to say maybe six or eight weeks ago, and I knew uh, what I wanted to do with it. Um, it was plain. There was nothing on it whatsoever. It was just a nice, um, you know, pretty well-made, sturdy straw hat. So, or I shouldn't say straw. I don't know what the material is, but, you know... Um, I made it for my mom because she, I love hats. I wish I could wear them every single day. Um, and my mother as well loves hats. So I made it for her. And uh, what I did was I used, and it's really, truly very simple. Let me see if I'm able to. Um, okay. So this is the front. I layered this beautiful lace here. Let me see if it'll... Okay. This beautiful lace in a beige color here. And then on top of that, I la also layered this very delicate um, beige lace that goes all the way around. And then this is the back of the hat. So in the back, I also used the white in this. This is from Julie's shop. And I also, again, used um, the beige one to make this bow. So I just made this very simple bow. You can see here the loops. And then I cut apart some of um, the spray. This was a spray that I cut apart. These are yellow rosebuds, and I very simply just layered them. I cut apart these little curly cues, which I'm madly in love with, in the green and the brown. So that's what it looks like on the side. It's really hard to film, sorry guys. And then that's what it looks like in the back, the back view from the side and then from the front. So I think it's very simple but elegant um, and I just love working with Julie's flowers. These flowers have a really cool texture and are almost sprayed with like a powdery white film like a gesso but in powder form. They're just gorgeous. And she has them in so many colors. They're so vintage looking. I just love them. So that's what it looks like. And then I also created a small little gift box. I used the um, Time Traveler's Notebook Paper by Prima. Let's see. Maybe I can get this out of the way. And it's a gift box that looks like this. Let me see if I can just adjust the camera. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Nope. Still focusing over there on what I don't know.
Okay. So this is the front of the gift box. Okay. And this is another um, spray that I cut apart from Julie's shop. And with the little curly cues, the rosebuds, and then these little tiny flowers. They're almost like little sweetheart blossoms. This is the trim, the dainty beige trim that I put all around the box. These are, this is also from Julie's shop. Um, she still carries these, I believe. This is a darker, like a rose or a mauve color. Gorgeous. Um, more of the green. This beautiful two-tone peach. And there's the trim all the way around. And then what I did was I created a little charm here on the side. And I used uh, two of her new charms. So I used the rose. This is beautiful. And I used the little cuckoo clock with the dangling, um, with the dangling piece. You know, I don't know what those are called, but um, but anyway, I layered those with some beads that I thought went with the paper and the flowers. And I created that little dangle that can come off. So that's a gift box that I made for somebody that I'm going to just take apart and fill with goodies. And uh, a pearl spray here and here. So um, thanks for sticking with me, guys. I hope you like what you see. And if you have any questions, um, just leave them below or just stop by Julie's shop um, and pick up some really cool stuff at um, great prices. Um, especially, I can't say enough about these flowers. They're just gorgeous. So I thank you guys for um, watching. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Maybe that's the best thing to do. <laughs> and um, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.